They covering it up. I want answers. Period. I want answers. A mother shares her painful plea for answers tonight, less than 24 hours after her son was shot and killed in a struggle with a Kansas City police officer. The KCPD and Jackson County Prosecutor's Office are investigating what led up to that fatal exchange just after midnight. Tonight, KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney met the man's grieving family as they begged for answers and shares what we know so far. I was yelling across the street like million, don't give up, million, don't give up. Overnight, this quiet neighborhood near 71 Highway was anything but. The female came to the house and asked for a call 911. This is Terrence Bridges. He was shot by police after midnight Sunday morning. Bridges moved to Kansas City from Chicago seven months ago. He got killed for nothing. They took his life for nothing. Right now, police say they were called to Bell Fountain because of a domestic disturbance. Bridges allegedly stole a car at gunpoint, left, and came back. Then, police say he ran when they tried to arrest him. Kansas City, Missouri police say Terrence Bridges ran the length of this block nearly 480 feet before he was shot. For them to just take his life like that, I need answers. I need proof. I need something. Police in the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office are investigating. Police say Bridges did have a gun. The family disagrees. He wasn't armed. He wasn't a threat. I need answers. That's my child. They murdered him. The officer was stationed at Metro Patrol. They were not hurt. The prosecutor's office tells KCTV 5 News a special unit inside KCPD will investigate. In Kansas City, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News.